It's Lisa from the Stop Dropping It podcast. Today I have the March Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club to unbox. I am so excited. Purple, as you guys probably all know by now, is my most favorite color. So we've got some lavender on the package. So I always like to try to guess what's going to be inside when I like look at the package and try to figure it out. Um, is the yarn going to be purple? I don't know. Let's find out. I have used my scissors and cut open the package and let's look inside. I see purple. I at least see purple packaging. So let's see. I'm going to pull out the cards first. That's the first thing I always like to do. Paradise Fibers March 2023 Fiber Club Newsletter. Tiptoe through the tulips. Not purple, but I'm seeing some maybe flower themes here. Hmm. Okay. So that is our clue. Oh my goodness. I think this is going to be, I think this is going to be really fun. So I just like to see what the theme is and then we're going to pull out... I've got a notions pack. Let's do that first. I don't usually do the notions first, but I think that'll be fun this time. I hope that there's some soak in here, please. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. We have some. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at Eunice. Is that an orchid? I'm not good with my flowers. Tell me, guys, is that an orchid? We'll see. I'll find out when I get off of my face. I'll find out when I read the package. And then we have some stash fusion green and white tea. And I'm very thrilled to have another one of these to try. So this is the Unicorn Baby Beyond Soft. And this one is Concentrated Fabric Softener. This is Anti-Static Conditioning Bath. Anti-Itch, softens fabrics for anti-static conditioning on fabrics and knitwear. It's got, it says leaves fabric, leaves fabric soft and fresh, anti-static benefits, rinses easily and thoroughly, non-yellowing, no fillers, no fragrance added, and biodegradable. So I used the last month's um, unicorn wash to wash my hand knit socks in the washing machine and they came out so clean. Usually I hand wash my my hand knit socks. Oh and there's a stitch marker too it just fell out. Hang on. Usually I hand wash my hand knit socks but I really wanted to try the unicorn uh, sock uh, the unicorn wool wash and I had like two dozen pairs of socks that really needed to be washed. I had gone through all of my socks and had nothing left. So I decided to just dump them all in the washing machine and then I washed them and was able to spin all the water out and then I hung them to dry. So that was really helpful. And then this stitch marker looks like a little rose. So I don't think that we are going to be purple themed, but I think we are floral themed. I think that's safe to say. So, okay. That one. And then we have this purple bag. Oh my goodness. All right. And then we have this. This is exciting. This is exciting. Okay. Look at all of this. Fiber Locks, Paradise Fibers, Fiber of the Month Club. Okay, so this is by, okay, let me read, let me, let's read this. I'm gonna probably open it in a second here, but look at all these different fiber locks. Okay, so this looks like it came from a small business called Compass Moon Creations, and her name is Jennifer Marker. I will put her, um, link her Etsy shop in the description box below this video. 
I am so excited to partner with Paradise Fibers for their Fiber of the Month Club. Not only do I get to share my mission and creative ideas with you, but I also get to share an exquisite fiber product that very few spinners have tried in their spinning journey. When you get roving, the fiber has been combed straight. This is referred to as carding. By shearing the fiber off the animal and not carding it straight, that is referred to as uncarded. Uncarded curly locks from sheep and goat are amazing tools in so many projects. Spinning, felting, quilting, doll hair, beading, jewelry making, appliques, and much more. Add dimension and uniqueness to all your creations. These locks are a mix of various breeds such as BFL, Lincoln, Cotswold, and Mohair, and are all sourced from United States fiber farms, most within 100 miles of me. Note that these are hand-dyed, uncarded fiber locks. What does that mean? Will you find bits of hay? Most definitely. Though washed and cleaned multiple times, the curls may hold little bits in depending on how curly and tight the lock is. Once you open up the locks, the hay and little bits should fall out. Thank you for supporting family-based small business fiber art. So this is really great. Um, all right, let's open this. I'm excited. I'm trying to open it, I think. All right, we're very taped down. I'll let it out the crinkling. So this is inside. Look at how beautiful. So there is purple, so that is exciting. And then, okay, and then it's just like about like her, thank you for supporting her small business message and all of that on the back of this card. So yeah, I will include the name of the Etsy shop on the screen here and then also put a link in the description box of the video. But let's get a couple of these out so we can look at them. I'll just grab a little handful. So I love these, this is so fun. So this is definitely gonna be an art yarn this month. Look at how fun that is. Jewel tones, my favorite colors. So I am quite pleased about this. Um, yeah, so I've got, so here's an example of one or two of the locks here okay so it's about it's about that long and so what you can do is you can just kind of fluff apart the end of it as you connect it to your other fiber so you could either kind of comb these smooth right and just, just blend them in and hold them like combed nice and flat with your fibers. Like you could kind of take it apart like this and have more of a like tweedy look. Or you can go like full on art yarn and just kind of have the locks themselves kind of hanging out. They had sent um, last March or two, two years ago, March, because it was one of the first bags I got. I made a beautiful art yarn with, it was, forget the fiber content, but it was like a, maybe it was a merino and Stellina sparkly yarn, uh, fiber that was combed. And then they included like, I got the chartreuse color of some locks to kind of put in at random bits. So if I can remember, I will include a little photo of that finished art yarn. If I still have a photo, if not, I've got the yarn, I can take a photo of what it turned out to look like. So this is really fun. And then of course, we also have this bag here. So I think it's black. It's very, it's very black. So, wow, this is definitely dyed <laughs> because this is like pretty much as black as black can get, not a natural black at all. So I would say that this is probably four ounces, I think. Let's check. All right, 
it doesn't feel like merino so i'm curious like what this fiber content is going to be all right in your bag two ounces of limited edition hand dyed wool and mohair locks so we saw that already this is three ounces of dyed Coriadel wool top in the shade Raven. So super, super black. Yeah, so three ounces. And one tulip, tulip, it was a tulip. It was not a, what did I say, orchid? Yeah, it was a tulip unisticker. Tulip, T-E-W-E -E for the U in there, tulip vinyl sheep sticker one unicorn fiber rinse one stitch marker one green and white fusion stash tee so the every month when you sign up for the for the fiber club you get a discount they have a different special running through that month and fiber club members can save this month fiber club members have exclusive access to 15 percent off all paradise fibers brand fiber the paradise fibers wooden weaving loom, Malabrigo Caracol and Rasta yarn, Cascade Magnum yarn, Noro Malvinus, Malvinus yarn, and unica Unicorn Fiber Care products. Okay, and the discount runs through April 5th. So if you are a member, you can enjoy that. And if you're thinking about becoming a member, that gives you an example of like what they offer every month. Okay, now, Oh, this is so pretty. I'm going to show you this picture here. Look how fun this is going to be. Oh my goodness. This month, we've been dreaming of spring and tulip bulbs as they sit down. No, let's start this again. <laughs> this month, we've been dreaming of spring and tulip bulbs as they sit below the surface in the dark, just waiting for their time to emerge and bloom. If you have never tried spinning a textured yarn, now is your time to grow. See what they did there? While spinning locks isn't known to be easy, it's usually exciting and always visually inspiring. Give yourself the freedom to experiment this month and just play with texture. For the yarn this month, our spinner, Core Spun, the black Coriadel roving while placing the locks randomly throughout the yarn. And then they have a link to a video where they say for a quick example of how to place locks, check out this link. So you can go to the Fi uh, Paradise Fibers YouTube page and then they have like a little video tutorials. Every once in a while, they'll put a video out to support the Fiber Club to give club members more further instructions on how to get specific use out of their package. The bulky single was then plied back onto a core yarn, wrapping the bulky yarn around the outside to hold the core yarn. Okay, that is so pretty. And look at the little bunny. They put a little bunny just for, for spring. Very cute. Okay, and then on the back of the card, they show you. Oh my gosh, I, this is gonna be so fun. I really love this month. Once the textured yarn was spun, it was time for the next layer of fun to begin. Using the Paradise Fibers Frame Loom and some linen warp, the loom was, the loom was warped up and weaving could begin. Oh, so they suggest a woven project this month which is why their loom is on a discount. So you see how they do this, okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The weaver used a variety of yarns, including Faza Alp Dazzle, Cascade Magnum, Malabrigo Caracol and Rasta, as well as Noro Malvinas. So that's why all of those yarns are on a discount this month. Weaving the yarn in layers and using a mixture of plain weave, sumac weave, Raya knots and Raya loops. I'm not a weaver. I'm sure you weavers know all of those terms. This is brand new territory for me. Um, the tapestry was created with tons of texture and visual interest. This month's fiber project was a blast to play with and we hope you will have as much fun with it as we did. So, okay. 
This is the weaving project again that that person did. I don't have any a loom or anything like that, so you know, probably this is not going to happen, but I am definitely going to have fun spinning up this art yarn. How fun! Jewel tone colors, wool locks to work with, Coriadel yarn. This is going to be a super fun project. I am so excited. I love this month. Okay, so that is everything. Let's just have one look again. I'll just hold these open like this. So this is the package for this month. Some Coriadel black dyed fiber and some brightly jewel tone wool and mohair locks. So fun. So thank you Paradise Fibers. I do not get this package for free. I do, however, have an affiliate link. So if you would like to support me and thank me for making these videos, you can do that by signing up for the Paradise Fibers Club through my affiliate link. It doesn't cost anything extra for you, but it shows Paradise Fibers that you found out about the club through my videos and then they give me a small commission through your purchase as a thank you. So that's a great way to support me. I am so excited about this month. I think that it's going to be really, really fun to spin and I can't wait to get to it. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing time spinning your projects. If you are spinning this month's Paradise Fibers art yarn, please let me know in the comments. I definitely want to see your projects. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you like this video and give me a thumbs up and I will see you next month for more. Bye-bye. <music>